too. In general, most women are a little bit more quick to articulate how they feel. And so with my husband especially, I have to regularly invite him into dialogue. And a lot of times he'll say, I don't know. But I know because his body language is saying, <laughs> I'm so mad at you. Like, I don't know, I'm not mad. Oh, no, you're mad. <laughs> okay, so we're back with Just Us Girls here. Another time by the pool. Thank you to our dear friends who invited us to come and hang out with you here. We've got Dr. Mary with us again, a clinical psychologist over 25 years of talking to families and couples and individuals about those personal stuff that we all need to talk about. We've got Diane and Kara and Danielle. Yes. And, okay. This is part two of the fear dance, because right. we had such a good conversation yes. going before, we talking did. about we the did. fear dance, yes. girls. Mm. Yep. Dr. Mary, give us again another synopsis. What is the fear dance? Right, okay, well, if you think about the common uh, uh, conflicts you have within it, commonly is with your spouse, but it could be with friends and family. And it just seems like that no matter how many times you try to change things up, you find yourself falling in the same pattern. Mm -hmm. So content may be different, but the issues seem to be the same. And it would be something that my husband says that triggers a response in me, that makes me act out in a certain way that triggers a response in him, and then on and on it goes. And so typically for women, and it can differ from couple to couple, women's greatest fears are abandonment and rejection. So when we have those fears triggered, we will do things to try to draw closeness to our husband. Mm -hmm. But in, the, in, in so doing, we're pursuing our husbands. Well, mm -hmm. the husbands, on the other hand, their greatest fears in general tend to be a fear of failure and a fear of being controlled. Yeah. So can you imagine if we're chasing him down and trying to get him to hear us, yeah. he's going bing, bing, bing. Okay, I'm a total failure as a husband and you're trying to control me and I'm out of here. Right. So that's kind of the fear yeah. dance. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I think we all have experience with that in oh, one way do. or that's another. Mm -hmm. I know with my husband, he's he's more of the laid back guy and I am more of the confrontational, mm -hmm. not confrontational, but I just like to talk things out. Mm -hmm. And so, and, and if he's not rising to the occasion, I tend to, okay, why not? And he Beginning backs shifts. off even further and it's a dance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like you said. It's yeah, because you want resolution, so you mm -hmm. get anxious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Eric and I are four years in, and we're still learning this and our mm -hmm. dance and how we work together and everything. And I find that sometimes if I feel like I'm lacking in an area or um, rejecting that fear of that, that I might put that on Eric. And then mm -hmm. that starts a conversation or a fight mm -hmm. because I feel so disappointed in an area, and I just put it all on him. And he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. And then we have this... Uh, dance together of figuring out, okay, what is the issue? Why are you feeling this way? Mm -hmm. um, and him being like, why are you acting out this way? Like, yeah. Yeah. I didn't do anything type thing. And it's really interesting to just figure it out together four years in and mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I think you make an excellent point because that's what we tend to do when we're triggered yeah. We're more likely to project blame on the other person. Yeah. Mm. You made me feel this way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So stop the behavior. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but how we actually help couples break the fear dance is that we draw this line, line in the middle, wife on one side, husband on the other side. Mm -hmm. What are your actions mm -hmm. that causes what reaction in him and, and, and what are your reactions as he acts towards you? Mm -hmm. And as you write them in there, you can then say, okay, I can't blame him or... Uh, project onto him or expect him to change in this area, but I can change this area. I don't have to be so reactive. I don't have to be so attacking and critical. Right. Yeah, I can yeah. choose to engage in conversation. So if yeah. I can own that part of it, yeah. 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 then it begins to change the dance. And mm -hmm. we have done one person marriage therapy where if at least the one person is able to own their part of the dance, if you've ever done dancing lessons mm -hmm. and one person changes the dance, the other person has to follow. Has to follow. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, right. So that's, uh, it's not something that, oh, my husband has to come and figure this out together. Mm. It's something that you can do yourself. Mm. Well, it's so sure. good that we're having this conversation because so much of our conflict you're telling us is based on fear. Yeah. And that's um, more owner to us taking ownership. Yep. Whereas when we don't realize that, everything's blame. Like Kara yes. was saying, I'm putting that on, mm -hmm. on my spouse. And so when we can recognize and take ownership, mm -hmm. it just, you know, it, it sets you on the trajectory to mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. problem solve and work on those fears mm -hmm. and rather than just blame, blame, blame. Yeah, yeah, and sometimes our spouses genuinely hurt us. They can be unkind and sometimes even yeah. abusive for some marriages. Mm -hmm. So it's not to negate that, but it's to recognize I actually have no control over that behavior. What I do have control over is my response to it. Mm -hmm. And also the boundaries that I'm gonna set that won't allow that behavior to happen. Yeah. But just putting it on our side of the line gives us so much freedom. 
to actually make a change in our life, in our dance, and even the way we react to our husbands so that we are no longer doing this crazy dance. And think about when our spouse, when we take ownership, then our spouse is freed up. To, they're going to be more encouraging. Yeah. They're going to be more understanding. They're going to want to work through things mm -hmm. rather than becoming the enemy. Mm -hmm. you know? I think it's when we take our eyes off of ourselves because so often as women we think, well, if he really knew me, yeah. Yeah. he would know right. that this is bothering me right. and I need to talk it out. Yeah. And da -da -da. Yeah. But if we, I love what you said, write down what about mm -hmm. me and about him. Mm -hmm. And then we start to understand him. We put our eyes on him and say, okay, mm -hmm. maybe that's why he's acting the way he is. Mm -hmm. And so what can I do Mm -hmm. to, so that I don't cause that to escalate. Right. Mm -hmm. And if you are interested in hearing about it, I didn't actually make up the term the fear dance. It was done by the Smallies. So the DNA of relationships at the back of the book has the questionnaire. Mm -hmm. And it'll get you very specific information about what are my triggers, mm -hmm. what are my fears, mm -hmm. and then he has to do it as well. And then you draw out the chart and then it'll be, oh yes, right. this is us mm -hmm. in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. So that could be a what very I helpful found, tool. Um, was Early on in, in our marriage, um, I realized that I was talking at my husband mm. and not really trying to have a conversation. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And one day he just told me, he was like, can you just not talk at me? Wow. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Like, and, and I just, like, I was like, whoa. Mm -hmm. Right. I had to take some time and yeah. say, he's right. Yeah. Because yeah. I was just talking at him. Just, you know, I wonder how many right? of us do that yeah. without yeah. even yeah. realizing. We, we talk like, a lot. Good a conversation. Yeah. Good. We talk a lot, right? Yeah. Women yeah. talk, yeah. what, I don't know, 5,000 more words. Seriously. So <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's before coffee. Seriously. <laughs> coffee. <laughs> way up after that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, very true. Anyway. Yeah. yeah, so then that's, if, mm -hmm. if we are talking so mm -hmm. much and he can only perceive a certain number of words, right. then it becomes very difficult. The thing I have to say, too, in general, most women are a little bit more quick to articulate how they feel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so with my husband especially, I have to regularly invite him into dialogue. And a lot of times he'll say, I don't know. But I know because his body language is saying, I'm so mad at you. Like, I don't know. I'm not mad. Oh, no, you're mad. Yeah. <laughs> and in fact, actually, they say that uh, the observer is like lightning fast, more quick to pick up on your anger than you will. Because mm -hmm. you won't feel it, but your yeah, body language right. is oozing yes, it up. Right, yeah. And so I have found that I've had to kind of gently encourage him and invite him mm -hmm. and try to be really non-confrontational, mm -hmm. try not to react, which is hard. I have to be biting my tongue all over the place mm -hmm. and just say, like, I really want to know what you're feeling right now. Like, what's going on for you and sometimes it takes several goes at it because he's not a very verbal right. guy mm -hmm. and it's easy for me to kind of well I know how you feel la 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 and right. give him all these words and by the way I could be right <laughs> 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 but not necessarily because uh, I'm projecting onto him what I think it should be mm -hmm. and because of the work I do as a psychologist there's a part in that says well I guess she's right it doesn't feel right but I guess mm -hmm. she's right and he just I'm just want to be done with this conflict right. so yeah, yeah yeah you're right, yeah. right. <laughs> and that doesn't resolve it you know Dr. Mary we're so glad you're right <laughs> we're, so, you. we're so glad you're here because we are learning so much aren't we about ourselves about our husbands about our marriages and we're glad you're here too so stick around because there's more better us coming up right now